Hello, and welcome to Synology Cloud Engage 2022. Synology entered the public cloud market in 2016 with the C2 storage backup service specifically for Synology servers. Since then, Synology has introduced several cloud-native solutions for businesses looking to improve their data protection and IT security. Today, we will showcase Synology C2's range of enterprise data protection and security solutions by taking a deep dive into C2 Identity, C2 Backup for Business, and C2 Transfer. With hybrid and fully remote work becoming the new normal in many industries, the challenge is to maintain productivity and company culture outside of the traditional office. That makes it essential to provide employees with the right devices and services to communicate efficiently and safely. Here are some numbers. According to IT Brief, 75% of decision makers responsible for employee equipment plan to increase investments in employee PCs or laptops in 2022. And according to a knowledge sourcing intelligence report, this spending growth and investment will be accompanied by a 21% annual growth rate for enterprise data loss prevention through 2026, as businesses seek to mitigate the risk of data loss from an increasing variety of hardware and services. In another survey, 86% of IT decision makers said that increasingly complicated compliance requirements for data privacy have impacted their organizations. Looking at these trends, it is clear that IT personnel at businesses will face a need to monitor more devices and cloud services, protect more mission-critical data against accidental loss or cyber attacks, and offer more secure ways for employees to send large volumes of data to others in a hybrid work context. In other words, to overcome the IT challenges posed by this increasingly digital era, businesses must constantly revisit and reevaluate their credential management, endpoint and SaaS backup, and file transfer solutions. With that in mind, let's first look at Synology's enterprise credential management solution, C2 Identity. According to research, most companies use from 25 to 50 cloud services, a substantial number to keep track of. With that number of services, come even more employee credentials that need to be managed. To further complicate matters, most companies also operate many different types of endpoint devices. For example, a small studio with less than 30 employees might work on Mac devices, but also collaborate using Google Workspace. Small businesses often do not have dedicated IT staff forcing owners, managers, and designated employees to deal with employees' accounts and privileges individually. It's a tedious task, and mistakes are easily made as the business grows and even more users need to be managed. And an even bigger challenge is how to centralize management of all users' devices, especially when working remotely. On the other hand, a typical business with over 100 employees may use a combination of Windows and Mac endpoints, servers, and Microsoft 365 collaboration tools. Some businesses run legacy Active Directory services that only support Windows devices, making it necessary to use separate directory solutions for Mac devices and cloud applications, a costly and complicated affair. With this in mind, let's discuss how C2 Identity can help businesses overcome these credential management challenges. When a new employee named Gina joins the company, IT admins can help set up cross-device and platform single sign-on with just a few steps. After filling out the basic information, IT admins can either send an activation email or generate a set of password and ask Gina to change it after signing in onto the device or service. Then, assign Gina to the user groups with particular privileges. Double check the setting and copy the login information, then click OK. Gina has now been added to the C2 identity service. Now, let's move on to assigning devices and services for her. As we can see, under the device tab under Gina's account, 
she is already able to access several Windows and Mac devices due to the user group she has been assigned to. Then, under the Application tab, to give Gina access to company's cloud services, we can help Gina create accounts for Dropbox, Google Workspace, and M365 through the SAML protocol. Just like that, Gina is now able to access company's cloud services. Now, let's turn to Gina. If she wants to access the new Mac device she has just been assigned to, she can type in the account name and password that the IT has just sent her. Create a new set of password at the login page, Gina is now able to use the assigned Mac devices. If Gina were to sign in to the M365 services, fill in the account name at the M365 login page, Gina will be directed to the C2 identity service for verification. Once fill in the same account name and password, Gina is now able to access company's M365 services and the same also applies when Gina wants to access company's Google Workspace or other native app services. If Gina forgot about her password, IT admin can help her reset password by specify a password for her directly or send her a password reset email to set a new set of password. In addition, employees like Gina can access the C2 identity dashboard to change personal information and configure security settings like reset password. Simply type in the current password, enter the new preferred password, and confirm it again. The password has now been reset, also two-factor authentication is available. If unfortunately Gina is resigning, the IT admin can simply delete Gina's account and choose the way the company wishes to deal with her provision accounts and data. Gina's account has now been deleted. Speaking of cloud service management, for services that cannot be managed using a directory service, C2 also offers a secure password management service for Teams. C2 Password lets Teams safely store and manage employee accounts and passwords. It also lets multiple users share credentials securely, even if a service does not support cloud-based single sign-on. Meanwhile, C2 Identity also offers a low-latency hybrid architecture that allows for on-premises authentication even without internet connection. A C2 Identity Edge server can be run on any Synology NAS in the local network or virtually in Docker containers. Now that we've covered the management of an organization's device and cloud service access, let's see how we can protect those services and devices with Synology's endpoint and SaaS backup solution C2 Backup for Business. According to reports, while businesses are most concerned about hackers, simple mistakes by regular users, IT staff, and managers account for up to 50% of data loss incidents. An additional 35% of data loss events are caused by hardware failures. Securing your IT against external threats cannot prevent human error or hardware failure which is why it is essential to maintain professional backups of all of your organization's devices and cloud services. A robust backup strategy allows businesses to identify what has been lost and restore it quickly. With that in mind, let's see how C2 Backup for Business play a role in your organization's backup strategy. With C2 Backup for Business, IT admins can backup employees' Windows PC or Mac within the organization and physical servers as long as all devices are installed with desktop client. For organizations that uses cloud solutions like Microsoft 365 Exchange Mail or OneDrive, C2 Backup for Business can help protect these services and employees' accounts as well. If an employee was hit by ransomware and needs to restore devices or a single file, or like in many scenarios where they lost an important email and its attachments, employees can visit the C2 Backup Recovery Portal. Choose the employee's M365 account, find a particular email, and click Restore button on the upper right corner to restore the email and its attachments. This can be done within just a few clicks. Not only that, 
If the IT admins want to ensure organizations' backup tasks do not take up bandwidth, or if the IT admins want to manage and keep different backup versions of devices more strategically to save storage space, they can create and appoint different device type groups, apply different backup policies to the different backup scope, such as the entire devices or designated volumes, set up backup schedules and frequencies or event triggers, or configure a specific retention rule to keep preferred numbers of backup versions. Similar policies may apply to the cloud services as well. Should there's any suspicious activities or anomalies, C2 Backup for Business allows IT admins to examine alerts of backup tasks or event logs to address troublesome issues in a timely manner. So all backup and restoration tasks within the organization are performed properly. Furthermore, under the Management tab, IT admins have the option to deactivate or remove an employee's account, assign different user roles with different privileges for different employees, and map identities of cloud accounts to C2 user accounts to allow employees to access the backup data via the recovery portal on their own. In addition, C2 Backup also supports protection of services such as SharePoint, and we will continue to announce support for more services in the future. Finally, C2 Backup uses incremental technology, meaning only those blocks of data that have been changed since the last backup are uploaded to the cloud. Now that we've covered protection of endpoints and services, what about our last vulnerability, external data transfers? Let's see how C2 Transfer prevent data from being leaked or sent to the wrong recipient. Email, messaging apps, and sharing links to files stored on public cloud platforms are the most common methods of sending files to external parties. When you go with a third-party communication or file hosting service, many have file size limits. On top of this, it can be difficult or impossible to keep track of files and prevent unauthorized people from accessing your files. Thankfully, C2 Transfer can help businesses transfer large files up to 20 gigabytes while maintaining high levels of security. To demonstrate how easy and secure C2 Transfer is, say an employee needs to send a signed document to his client. The employee can click Create New Transfer, click Upload, or simply drag the signed document onto the panel. Employees can name the transfer task, set up expiry date of the transfer task available to the recipient, limit the download count, and add text or image watermarks to the signed document that is deemed to be more confidential. Next, select email or phone number as the verification method for your recipients. In this case, enter the client's email address, then click Create Link. The signed document is now being encrypted and uploaded onto the C2 server. Once the client received the link to the signed document, should the person enter the wrong information or if someone who has no access entered their email address, they would not be able to access the signed document. The client simply just needs to enter the email address, enter the temporary access code sent to the mailbox. The client can then download the transfer document. In contrast, if the employee requires the signed document from the client, the employee can also create a file request with similar content protection measures and ask them to send the signed document. Back to file transfer, transfer status including the task name, timestamp of the task created at, recipient information, download counts, and expiry date can also be seen in the C2 transfer dashboard. To track the status of the task, we can see how many times the file has been downloaded or check which recipients have or have not opened the files. For management, C2 Transfer Admin Console allows IT admin to manage users as well as applying transfer policies. When a new member joins the team, IT admin can first onboard a new employee via C2 Identity and add the member in the C2 Transfer User Management Console. If the company decided to apply stricter transfer policies for all outbound transfer tasks, IT admin can enable certain naming rules, 
apply watermarks to the transfer files, in this case, an image watermark that has the company's logo, enforce one-time download limit, or set link expiry date if we want to limit the download before a certain date. Or, in the case where the company wishes to only allow email verification, limit employees to send transfer file to particular recipients, or only allow certain domains or email to receive the shared content, IT admin can configure allow lists or block lists from the Access Restriction tab. Additionally, with C2 Transfer, users can enjoy all these benefits while sending files through Microsoft Outlook. In a nutshell, C2 Transfer is a great alternative for companies whose employees frequently need to send large files while maintaining a high level of security. Synology C2 uses secure cloud infrastructure while keeping all our data securely encrypted on our servers. With client-side encryption enabled, data are rendered unreadable before leaving users' devices. This way, Synology makes sure that we are technically unable to access or read your sensitive data. In addition, Synology C2 offers very high data durability. The higher your data durability, the lower is the chance of ever losing data to corruption or malfunction. C2's data durability exceeds that of RAID configurations, guaranteeing that your data remains intact over long periods of time. Finally, Synology C2 will exclusively keep your data in the data centers that you select. And with locations across the US, Germany, and Taiwan, you can choose the jurisdiction that you trust. So let's recap what we've discussed today. C2 Identity offers businesses a one-stop solution to manage a variety of different devices and cloud services across locations. For smaller organizations, C2 Identity offers a free plan that allows businesses to manage up to 250 users and 10 devices. For larger or more complex use cases, C2 Identity offers paid business plans with additional advanced features. Starting at just $49.95 a month, C2 Backup for Business offers five terabytes of storage space to back up an unlimited number of your organization's devices and services, ensuring that all endpoints are protected. Finally, at just $9.99 a month, C2 Transfer's professional plan allows employees to send and request files safely with features like content protection and identity authentication. For organizations with advanced management needs, C2 Transfer also offers business plans that gives IT admins more control over employees' transfer statuses and other relevant features. Synology C2 Identity, C2 Backup for Business, and C2 Transfer Services offer state-of-the-art protection and security for your business's credentials, devices, services, and data transfers. When you choose Synology C2, you can rest assured that your digital assets are in safe hands.